Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. You're watching episode one of FreeCAD Tips and Tricks. Today's topic, slicing objects, bodies, and faces. Okay, let's get started. So here we are in FreeCAD. Now before we start this video, I want to talk a little bit about how the series is going to work since it's episode one. Now the series is not a beginner's tutorial at all. Now the series is just tips and tricks and that's all that it's going to be. Now in the series, I am going to assume you know some of the basics about FreeCAD and I'm just going to jump right into this. And a lot of times you're going to see me have stuff pre-built and I'm going to assume you know how to build those already. Now, nothing I build is going to be complicated, but it's going to go a little fast for some of the beginners out there. Now, that being said, we can jump into this video. Now, slicing stuff. Now, there's three situations you're going to have when you're going to slice. You're going to slice a body by a body, a body by a plane, or essentially a plane by a plane. Now, all three of those scenarios have different steps. So, we're going to start off with a body by a plane. So, here I got the cube on the screen, and I also made a dovetail out of out of planes now I want to cut this dovetail within the cube itself so what I'm going to do first is select the cube and then I'm going to select all the faces of the dovetail so I'm going to do control select all four faces and then after that I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a slice out of the two shapes so it's going to cut the dovetail out of the square shape so let's press that now and then you'll notice it made the dovetail shape but the problem with this is that if I select this or double click the entire thing, it selects the entire cube. It doesn't actually make a dovetail cut. So what I have to do now is double click this and go into the draft menu. And when I'm in the draft menu, I'm going to press down this down arrow. Now what this does, it makes a compound of the shape. So there's two shapes. So I'm going to press it one more time to split it into two solids. So now you see I have a solid one and a solid two or solid and solid one now you can see if i move this it is a second body is an independent body you can manipulate this as much as you want you can move either one around as much as you want and it's it's been cut so after we're done that let's talk about slicing a body from a body so here i have a square a cube again and i also made this dovetail but instead of this dovetail made out of planes this dovetail is a, its own body. Now, why would you want this? Is that that sometimes when you're 3D printing or CNCing, you need some tolerance. So a good way to do that is make space in between the dovetails in your model, so it prints out with the space it needs. So this is actually quite simple. So you want to select the cube, and then the dovetail in that order. If you do it the opposite way. It will not work as expected so then you go up here and then you're going to do a make a cut of two shapes and you're just going to click that and that actually gives you what you want now like before if you select one you kind of select both so then you also have to go back into draft and then press this down arrow and then you also get two solids just like that pretty simple for having a body slicing another body so actually then we can just move on to faces slicing faces so let's explore the last thing i want to talk about today and that is slicing a face from another face so as you can see here i got a rectangle with this weird shape in the middle now i'm going to cut that weird shape out of the rectangle so what i'm going to do first is i have to set this rectangle to be a uh, a face so I'm going to select it but first I'm going to go and put and then in the toolbar I'm going to select put I'm going to scroll down to make face from wires and that will make a face for us I'm going to do the same thing for the weird shape in the middle now after that I'm going to select both faces and then I'm going to do a boolean fragment I'm going to select the boolean fragment tool and there I select it as you can see it worked properly then after that, it does the same problem where if I select one, I select the I select both of them. So again, I'm going to go back into draft. I'm just going to press the down arrow once, and there it made the two faces. So I can move the face. Um, just move it like that, 
and they're both two different faces so that's actually all you need to do to cut faces to cut anything you want from anything else so that's the end of this video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you really liked it consider subscribing uh, there's a lot more videos coming on the way I really appreciate it if you want to suggest a video idea for the series or for anything else just leave a comment down below you should check out my Instagram I post some fun stuff there sometimes I'll see you next time bye